Neptune Born coming back at you. For Andre Berto versus Carl, Carlos Quintana. Two nights from now. This is Thursday night. I just got through, uh, you know, I didn't watch Survivor last week. And normally I don't. But this year I was trying to watch it with me and my wife. And uh, I didn't watch last week. And so then I just started watching it today. And I decided I'm not going to watch it anymore because Boston Rob was kicked out. Yeah, that's a damn shame. Anyway, Andre Berto versus Carlos Quintana. All right, I'm going to break them down as best as I can and then tell you who I think is going to win and why. Okay? Carlos Quintana, underrated. The guy is very underrated. But he's not given the credit he deserves right now. He did give Cotto problems. He beat Paul Williams soundly in a 12-round decision, which means dude can box. Okay? Dude has the brains to box. He, he has smarts in the ring, and he's a very good counter puncher. He's not the best mover. He, he, uh, <clears throat> he doesn't have a whole lot of power, and he's not that fast. But he's very smart, and he has good timing. These are <clears throat> these are also underrated skills that people don't seem to tout well enough. Well, I'm telling them. Carlos Quintana is a very good fighter. Okay, his losses were by knockout. Okay, Cotto and Paul Williams. Paul Williams took him out in the first round. Cotto took him out in the sixth, uh, I think. Sixth. Yeah, I think it was the sixth round. Um, both of those guys, like I said, Quintana beat Paul, uh, beat Paul Williams in a 12-round uh, decision soundly. You know, there was no, no question as to uh, um, what happened in that fight. And Quintana, you know, put the clinic on Paul Williams' ass. That's just how it happened. Paul Williams came back and said, bam. You know, I'm going to get mine back. We ain't doing this shit again. Knock him out in the first round. Cotto. Now, I've been hearing that Quintana gave Cotto problems, this and that. And he did. He really did. You know, he was landing on Cotto. He was getting in there and getting uh, getting his punches past Cotto's defense. But when Cotto decided to flip the switch, you know, it was game over for Quintana. So, if anything, he is a great, is a good fighter but has some serious weaknesses. And one of those has to be his chin. Because I don't think Paul Williams is an exceptionally hard puncher. Now, Cotto was, but I don't think Paul Williams was. He just, you know, Katana got hit with a volume of punches by Paul Williams in the first round. And that's another thing. He, Carlos Katana is very smart and great counter puncher, but only if he's allowed to manage the fight at his own pace. If, if you allow Carlos Katana to control the pace of the fight, Carlos Quintana will probably take you to the decision because that's where he wants to take it. And he will probably win that decision. But when, but when another fighter decides to impose their will on Carlos Quintana, he seems all too willing to take that. And, and not, you know, not be able, he does, he's not able to adjust to an onslaught from, from people who can land on him. Okay? He's just not. And, uh, you know, it's not, I'm not trying to uh, offend him, and I'm not trying to go off camera too much. <laughs> Hold on. But, you know, lots of fighters have their weaknesses, even Money Mayweather, even Mosley, Pacquiao, you know, even Andre Ward, uh, and obviously Michael Kessler, my, one of my favorites. Anyway, all these guys have weaknesses, and uh, Carlos Quintana's weakness right now looks to be just that. If he can't control the tempo of the fight, he cannot win. Now, he hit, it's true, he has not lost a decision. His losses are by knockout. But that is because when somebody else flips the switch on him, it, it kind of like seems to take him off guard. and He does, he can't do, he can't get out of the way of those punches. Now, Berto is a, is a smaller guy, and this is the uh, this is the best competition Berto has faced yet, because like I said, Carlos Quintana is a good fighter, never mind his weakness. Okay? <clears throat> Quintana uses his brains, tries to control the pace of the fight, and counterpunches very, very well. Now, when Carlos tries to counterpunch and misses, sometimes he leaves himself out there a little long, but uh, it's not extra, you know, it's not, it's not so long that, that an average fighter can pop him with a good one. It's really not. It's not that bad of a weakness. The thing is, flipping over to uh, Berto now, Andre Berto is really fucking fast, dude. Really fucking fast. I mean, the guy, the kid is 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 exceptionally fast. He is up there with 
the likes of Pacquiao and Mayweather as far as hand speed is concerned. He's a very instinctive fighter, and what I mean by that is he goes off of his uh, instincts and reflexes and his speed more than he actually does, uh, you know, as it seems to me, by any sort of game plan. Now, he could have stood, there, there probably should have been a game plan against Colazzo when Berto fought him, but even if there was, I doubt Berto stuck to it, okay? Berto seems sometimes all too willing to get in there and brawl, except when it was with Urango, but, you know. Maybe that's because with Urango, he didn't have to. You know what I mean? With, with Colazzo, he, he did have to sometimes. He had to try and brawl his way out of some things. And on a side note, as I've watched that fight, I do think Berto won that fight against Colazzo. I really do think so. I really do. <laughs> I'm sorry if that pisses anybody off, but to me it was very close. I think I had him by one, one or two points that I had Berto winning against Colazzo. And most of it was, I thought he was going to lose, but the, the 11th and 12th round, he just won, flat out. He finished very, very strong. Colazzo didn't, but that's, you know, I digress. His weapons are his speed. He has not carried his power up that we all thought Berto had. We thought he was very fast and had the power to come along with it, making him, you know, one of those grade A fighters that we were wanting to see put up against the best. Right now, I don't think he should be put up against the very best, even though he has a belt. Because his level, he's not, he's not that type of fighter yet. He's not experienced enough. His competition has been fairly soft. It's, you know, he hasn't fought that many good people. You know, Urango and Colazzo. I think that's about it. And Urango, you know, Urango's Urango, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not, let's not... Let's not tout that as something, you know, really awesome that he beat Urango, okay? Um, he's not been able to knock B-level fighters out. Berto hasn't. So his power has not carried. I would be very, very surprised if Berto won this by early knockout or something like that. Just, you know, kind of just putting his power in early and beating Katana by a knockout early. I'd be very surprised. Very. Berto is also hit pretty easily when somebody who has good timing like Katana is up against him. He, he can be hit, and he can be hit quite flush. So, uh, you know, that's his weakness. He can be hit quite flush, and uh, Quintana can't seem to... Who the fuck is that? <laughs> anyway, and Quintana can't seem to be able to adjust when the fight is not going at his tempo. So what do I see happening here? Well, I see Berto using his speed a lot and getting inside on, on Quintana a lot. And I don't mean inside as in inside fighting, I just mean being able to get inside Quintana's punches a lot. Because Berto hasn't shown himself to be a very good, you know, inside game fighter. And Quintana can. He's not great at it, but he can. I don't think that is going to be much of a factor. I don't think Quintana wants to take it to the inside. I think Quintana would rather sit back and sharpshoot and counterpunch and then make his own offensive when he sees fit. But down to the prediction part, I think Andre Berto is going to control the tempo of this fight. And while he will get hit, this will make for a great looking fight. Berto is going to get hit. He's going to lose some rounds. But I don't think Quintana is going to be able to put in enough rounds in the bank early to be able to make it a painful fight for Berto in the end. Because I think with Berto's undefeated record and his youngness and his energy and, his, and the way that he finishes strong, I don't see... Quintana taking him into deep water and taking him out that way by, you know, decision. Um, I think for the early on it's going to look like a good fight. It's going to go back and forth. But in the end, Berto is just going to be busier. He's going to hit Quintana more than Quintana hits him. And his, he's going to land more. And his punches are, are just so much faster that if, if he can get his feet working, he can get out of the way before, uh, before Quintana can mount anything strong. I actually will call this... Uh, Andre Berto wins by knockout in the 11th. Now remember I said I'd be surprised if he got he be KO'd Quintana early, and I will be. But I think this will be an accumulation of punishment. I think Berto has enough pop on his punch to cause damage. So, that's it. Berto KO round 10 or 11. I'm, I'm going to say 10. Yeah, 10. Berto round 10, knockout. Uh, should be a good fight. This is now come born. Hmm. Deuces.